Happy Halloween. Eight o'clock in. Hello. Wow, Jace. Shit. That was... Wait, weren't you wearing orange? Whoa. Everybody, welcome back to the Average Employee Podcast. I'm your host, Al, and I'm a taco. I'm Fat Thor. I'm Rick James, bitch. And I'm Sasuke. And it's time to get spooky. Welcome to the Halloween episode. Coming to you, previously recorded, but coming out on Halloween. So happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Yeah, let's give a round of applause for that. Yeah. I know you guys are expecting this to be season two, but surprise, mother lovers. You're welcome. It's not. It's it, uh, season two coming soon. Yeah, season two coming soon. We knew you couldn't wait, so here we are. It's like an anime when they have the whole season, and at the end of the season, after the story is done, they have like the beach episode. But we are having a Halloween episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that has that. nothing like, to like do with it. Like yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So we have some uh, decor. We have... Babe, what are their names? Barbara and John, John from uh, Beetlejuice. Barb and John. Uh, Beetlejuice. Don't, don't, no. New master. <laughs> 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 Just it's so. If we say that three times, does like a thirteen-year-old kid with acne comes out? New master. <laughs> Is that? Are you going to do like an I Am Groot thing where all you say is Noob Master? Maybe. I might well, say the whole okay. saying, but not just yet. <laughs> Season two comes soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so as you guys can see, we set up the the set a little spooky. Got some skeletons, got a pumpkin. I don't know about you guys, but I am scared. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, he said it was spooky. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> I am <laughs> terrified. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I need an inhaler. <laughs> I left the goat at my other house. Sorry. <laughs> and he that's, was that's in the sacrifice club. Joke. I don't know if that's going to hit with anyone, but that's fine. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Rick James bit where he had the goat in the club. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's where what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bitches. Listen, cocaine's a hell of a drug. What can I say? <laughs> well, cheers, guys. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Chicken. <sighs> Have you always ever wondered, like, where Halloween comes from? Because, like, we see all, like, the trick-or-treat, and then everyone's dressing up as, like, a skeleton, and then you got the sexy skeleton, and then you got the slutty skeleton. Yeah, do you guys ever wonder? I do. Do you, know, do you actually know where it comes from? I do not, but back in the day... When I was getting candy, mm -hmm. I'd be like, this is one of the greatest holidays ever. Yeah. Don't know how it started, but this is great. You yep. know, as a kid, you just never question it. You're like, what? I get to dress up as something awesome and I get candy? But you know the crazy part, though, is that if your parents gave out candy, they would actually have more candy than the candy you would come home with. But you don't think about that, you know? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> but it's like, just... It's kind of that candy. It's the, it's the wonder of the holiday, but we're adults now, so we don't wonder about nothing. <laughs> Not wrong. The variety. I think it was always a good time. I mean, it was always a good time. People there was that. There was the age of like going to get candy, and then there was the age of where I was doing um, mischief night. Mischief night, which apparently which Jared no more. is only yeah, like an East Coast it's thing. It's the East Coast. Yeah, because yeah. we're all demons from that side. <laughs> Absolutely, absolute <laughs> savages. <laughs> Um, if you don't know what Mischief Night is, it's the night before Halloween where you fuck shit up. That's right. If you and not like really. You do like, you know, TP, maybe a, TP the tree, egg TP someone's house, house, egg someone. You're just getting them in the spirit. Yeah. That's right. It's the it's the mischievous spirits at play. I've seen someone's house get Halloween. not egged but bulleted. That's nasty. That's stanky. If you don't know what bullet is, bullet is a Filipino delicacy. Um, it's a duck fetus. And... One house I saw, like, in high school, it just was plummeted with, like, a bunch of bullets. I was like, I could have ate that. 
You're wasting all the bullets. I don't, think, yeah. I don't think I've ever tried that. Um, I think. Would you guys want to try it? I don't know. Maybe I no. should. <laughs> my, my my policy is I'll try anything once, and I actually have not tried it. Okay, I'll get us some. Soup. The safe version is penoy, which is just a hard-boiled duck egg. I'll tell you what. If we do it and I throw up... Good content. Good content, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll do anything for the views and the likes. <laughs> okay. Now I need a... Wait, so do you actually know yeah. the origin of do Halloween? Have... Yeah, so the... Yeah. Uh, the origin of Halloween it comes from a Celtic celebration okay. where they would light uh, like like bonfires and like wear masks and stuff to ward off like spirits and ghosts. And like the reason like you would wear a mask or like a a get up is that like demons would walk around and they didn't want them to recognize them, mm. so that you dress amongst them. It was also a mix of their calendar was split in half, like it is six months right okay. six and six right and then one half was light the other half was dark and the transition period was the time that they would light those fires and kind of transition to the dark side i guess or the light side so do you know like what what the difference or significance is because i've heard this before we call it halloween but some people call it hollows eve do you know or all souls eve or yeah like or if you're of, like, Latin, I, I don't know if it's specifically Mexican, but also Dia de los Muertos. That was David, pretty good. David, yeah, that was good. That was pretty good. That, I didn't think I was going to come out that great, but that was it good. It came out. It's because you're Rick James. Because you're Rick, Rick James, James bitch. bitch. Nice. That's good. That was good. Does Rick James speak Spanish? No, I just. I in this know. universe, he does. In this universe. In this variant. <laughs> he's <Nice>. Guamanian, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Um, you know, I feel like we definitely had classes on this in school, right? For sure. But there, I'm sure, like, when you were in elementary Jared, school, they would school? do, like, a... <laughs> was Jared um, in the class? Elementary to middle? Yes. <laughs> High school? You What's were that? You were decent in, like, freshman, sophomore. No, freshman year is when I started cutting. Oh, okay, well... And then, <laughs> I, I tried. 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 <laughs> there were times where I was in class, but... Not I don't all know. The time. My junior year, <laughs> I cut 92 days of school. I think that's something like half of the school year, right? There's only 180 days of school? Oh. Well, you said half, so. Well, I, 92 sounds like a lot. It's three months. Well, you start in what, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May? I guess how many, like how many months was that? <laughs> 92 days feels like a lot, though. Yeah, it does. I think 30 days feels like a lot. I had like two or three truancy letters. I don't that know. got lost in the mail. <laughs> no, they didn't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> they were found, for sure. I remember um, when they used to call home to the landline, and then they would leave the voicemail. Did you ever get that? Yeah, or, and then you would just delete it. I was living out there first. I was living with my yeah, grandmother at the time. She wasn't always home, so yeah. you got to get to that. But that then now <laughs> with cell phones, it automatically goes to them now. So unless you go to your parents' phone and do call forwarding for a specific number or a block that the school's phone number, kids. If you're if if we have like kids that yeah, are in give high them school, the give them the rundown. That, so I'm not saying to not not do this. But the, if, if oh, I, I got a, I got s- served I, an empty shot glass. If so. I was to be in school, this is what. Yeah. So I what you do. would want to do is find find out what your school's phone number is, um, add it to your parents' contact list, block, and hopefully they're not calling you from a different line. <laughs> this is such a good idea. You yeah. know, hey, mom, can I see your phone real quick? Mom, I'm gonna do an update. I don't know. Parents are getting younger. They're a lot more technologically advanced than I our don't parents know. were. In my, in my job field, that's false. <laughs> oh, no, I, hey, I don't know. False. But do you guys ever feel... So remember... I don't know. I don't know if you guys ever like heard this theory that Halloween was made up by by dentists. So like kids ate more candy, so they'd have to go to the dentist. Yeah, that's a smart business move. I've, I don't think I've heard that. I've one. never heard that, but I mean... Well, maybe I only heard it because my uncle's a dentist. There's a conspiracy behind everything. That's true. You know what I mean? But Maybe. this one has fact. It has it's in history books. 
But how would eating candy for that short amount of time? Well, the kids have the ruin they, your teeth. I mean, some kids eat all that candy in one night, but you have the candy for a while. And, yeah. yeah, especially if they're smarties. Not if you're Jared <laughs> <laughs> or Jays. I okay. I don't want to get into <laughs> that. All right. I don't really have. I used to have a big sweet tooth. I don't really have that much of a sweet tooth anymore. Only under certain conditions. Same. I don't know, Jared and his uh, <laughs> sugar cereal. <laughs> Did you know that? And this is gonna be real quick. That if you add more sugar uh, to frosted it? flakes, <laughs> it's better. <laughs> okay, someone was saying that honey bunches of oats is actually not healthy for you. It's not. It really. probably has a lot more sugar than yeah. it, than you think. I mean, I'm pretty I was sure always under the impression it. that it was. Well, like, it's the guys that it's you. the guys that you're eating oats, and oats are typically under the connotation of more healthy. So I think that's more of like a marketing employer, like, this is healthy for you, when it really isn't. I think all cereal is like that, though. Most things are that way. Most things that are on the shelves at grocery stores are not really all they're cracked out to be. Things that we enjoy are typically not healthy. You know, everything typically is bad for you, and that's just that's just the life we live in. That's all right. I'm cool with that. I think the only thing that's not bad for you is water, unless you're drowning. Yeah. That's like one of my biggest fears. Oh, shit, shit, I know. (laughs) No, 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 it's fine. I got pushed in the pool when I was a kid and I almost drowned, so I think I'm traumatized from that. I think the one thing I would hate is like, you know, like when you're if you're in the ocean and then you just see the light getting darker and darker. I don't like that. I don't like the ocean. You know how scary the ocean is? We haven't even explored like half of it. Yeah. Deep ocean scares me more than any Halloween. Yeah, that could be anything, that is any, the most terrifying thing. Any horror ever. movie, any Dude. anything like that at all. Like you wouldn't watch the Meg? I mean, I'll watch it. I think, but I'll just be like, man, I would really hate, like, just let me die. Yeah, Did if you, I'm lost at sea, I'm, I'm, I'm that's where I'm dying. <laughs> Did you guys see that mini Godzilla? Mini Godzilla? That was in the ocean. It doesn't uh, even show. It doesn't even show anything. It's just like something's like rumbling in the water, and it looks like it's rising. I think I've seen. Is it like a like a yacht kind of a boat? Can we do? Um, your favorite Halloween costume growing up? Does everyone have that on the top of their head? Um, I was, I was a dinosaur, and it was like full on, like, like feet and everything. Oh, that's an iguana. Oh. Yeah, those are like big iguanas, basically. Yeah, that shit is ugly. That shit got eczema. <laughs> that got eczema. I want one of those. Hell no. But- you can eat beans. I want one of those. <laughs> I don't like that it's got lips. <laughs> it's a skin condition, Jace. No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it just needs some chapstick. It's got lips. I don't like that. Speaking of like the sea, did you guys know? I just found this out like a couple weeks ago. There's a fish called the ass fish. Arse fish? Yeah, it's called it's the bony The bony ass. The bony ass fish. <laughs> no, yeah, it's called it's the bony. Ass fish. It's Bo- a bony ass fish. Yeah, bony eared ass fish. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it looks like a tadpole, but it's called the bony eared ass fish. You know what's a scary looking fish? The angler fish. Oh, those are scary looking because it has a little. It's got the little. <laughs> it's got one of those fucking yeah. thing, and you're like, oh, what's this? Like in Finding Nemo. See, oh, that those, was a great depiction of it. But yeah. aren't those angler fish like that's deep? That's deep. That's, that's like deep sea. Where the yeah. sun doesn't yeah, like, reach. That's like really, deep. really low. Like we probably wouldn't survive. We would never be down there. If I'm it. down there, I hope I just I'm dead. <laughs> you didn't die on the way down. <laughs> I would hate to be in that. But like situation. the pressure of the water would like crush you, right? Yeah. Is that is that the thing, right? See, that's fucking terrifying. The ocean is endless. Like we stand no chance. Okay. Would you rather be? What's the one with uh, when he's stuck in the cliff? The 128 days, whatever. James Franco. Yeah. Would you rather would you rather have that or be sinking in a ship? I'd rather be. I'd Franco's rather be stuck situation. in James Franco's situation. Yeah. Fuck. And what he chopped his arm off or something yeah. like that? Oh, That's yeah. fine. Yep. That's cool. So you know what? I can see. But what's, how does he do it? I he can just see has what's a knife. around me. I can see what's around me, right? I, w- wait. No, you can't. At night. Probably. Well, you see. Well, he was there for 128 hours. I'm sure <laughs> at night hits at some point. <laughs> well, like he only saw like maybe Unless like you're in Alaska. This big it's of true. like opening sky. So he's like in a chasm. That's a good word. That was good. good. Can you spell it? Uh, C-H-A-S-M. Chasm. Sorry. Is that how you spell it? 
Yeah, C J S M. C H A S M. Chasm. Yeah, that sounds right. This is C-H- a this is a core memory of mine. It's maybe gonna sound too sad, but I was like so confident in fifth grade, like we had the spelling bee coming up, and I was like, oh, I'm fucking ready for this shit. Sad story. My grandfather died that year, oh. and we had to go and fly out and go to his funeral. And of course, that's a very special a moment. Weird coming to this word. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why I said it's gonna be sad and random. But I remember that was like I was obviously really sad that my grandfather passed away. Mm-hmm. But as a kid, I was like, "Fuck, I can't go to the spelling bee." <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna be like, "F U N E R A L, funeral." Yeah, I know. Sorry. Damn. So where did chasm come? In? Oh, because he that's said where, that's, that's where, where James, James Franco, Franco was stuck. I don't know. I actually, I don't think it's an actual chasm because I think chasm is like a, where there's ice. No, a, a chasm is like a just a big opening, right? Like a it's like a tunnel thing. Here, let's guys, Google's here. Okay, chasm, a deep fissure or in the earth, chasm. rock, Ooh, or another surface. Fissure is a good word. That's a too. fucking good word, dude. Fissure, is a fissure. Good word. Those are similar. Good. Gorge, uh, abyss, canyon, abyss. ravine. Abyss is one of my favorite. Or it words. could be a profound difference between people, viewpoints, feelings. The chasm between rich and poor. That, that was, was a good catch. catch. That was a, that was a terrible catch throw. There. Great catch. So your favorite costume was wow. a dinosaur, Al? Ow. Wow. Ow. Well, you're fucking fat. Shit. <laughs> That's what it was, Al? What? Dinosaur? You know what? Yeah. I'm going to come over there, rip off your arms, hey. and shove them up your butt. Hey. Why don't you just treat me like a taco and eat me? Maybe <laughs> Jane. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my favorite costume as a kid was I was a dinosaur. If you? I find the picture, I'll I'll post it. How about you, Jared? I feel like ninja was a theme. That was definitely a theme now. For, for most, most Asian of my kids. Halloween. Yeah, what else were we going to be? <laughs> uh, Star <costumes>. heroes. <laughs> I think there was a scream mask a uh, year for me, too. Was it the one with the blood and the pump you had? Nah, that's too much. I think, probably, yeah, I, think it was just, I think it was just the mask. I think it was just the mask. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't. You don't really remember, oh. right? It's hard to remember. You know what? I don't know if it was in school though, but the Superman. I think it was when uh, the Superman was... costume that I had. Oh yeah, yeah. That was the one. Yeah, yeah. That was the one. That's where it all began. That's where it all began. How about you, Justin? Mine was the Power Ranger. Nice. Oh, which it one? was definitely a Power Ranger Fuck, one year. Yeah. To, I was sitting here trying to uh, try to think of it. Knowing me, it was either the white or the green. I was just were, about to say green. that. It's white weird. or the green. Yeah. It was definitely green, and then the green one switched to white. So mm. it's before he was evil. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. What's With the flute, called? right? Dude, yeah. that flute thing. I had that. I had the flute one, and then I had the. It's a, it's a sword flute. Yeah. What was the um, the white one? It's called the name. The White Ranger. Yeah, the sword. Oh shit! I don't remember. What was it? I know name? what you're talking about though. The, the sword a, flute. That was the green one. The mega s- sword. I'm sure it was something pretty straightforward like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't doubt it. The sword of the of the whites. That's not what we want to call it. Um, <laughs> white dragon. The, the white sword? out. Saba. Cassava. Saba. Cassava. <laughs> Sabra, like the like the hummus. S a b a. Saba. 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 Mm-hmm. Or saba. Saba. Oh, but yeah, had made both it sound a little Filipino. So I like the Green Ranger first, and then he switched. And then I had both of them, like the actual, like. <laughs> and then. Ooh, chill out. That was impressive. <laughs> before the yeah. fucking thing comes out. The, before the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Thor got. Thor. Oh, he has, shit. He has weapons and he can summon a metal dragon. He's all. It's morphing time. Noob master. Don't make me make it morphing time. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Guy on the games, call me a dickhead again. (laughs) What do you think is going to be the most worn costume this year? This year? Yeah. Oh, they typically have something like that, huh? Each year. Um, What do you think? That's definitely. Vecna? I feel like that's a top one. I haven't watched Ranger Things, but I know that's a thing. Uh, Eddie. Eddie. They're just so easy to to recreate, though. Because they're like regular clothes. Also, because they're like 80s clothes. Maybe some House of Dragons stuff. The Stranger Things is a pretty good one. 
I think Squid Games was last year, right? That was, yeah. that was the last year. Thing. Yeah, you could just get like the the sweatsuit, right? And that was like I just get a PlayStation. Button. I almost I almost got that one when I was at the uh, yeah. They, I I seen it at Spirit like, Halloween. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should grab that. What's it called? I don't know. For this year, I don't. I haven't been as in touch with the pop culture this year. Been busy. Pennywise, well, there's always Pennywise? the Pennywise. No, that's was that last year too. I think that was like that two was, years yeah, ago. Yeah, two years ago. Oh, yeah. Shit. I think someone's gonna be Joe Biden. Byron. I can't think of anything else. Oh. That's hard. That's a good yeah. question. Let us know in the comments yeah. what you guys think is gonna be the most popular costume. Or this what year. are you gonna be for Halloween? Yeah, yeah. What are you? I think my favorite costume growing up was I remember when we were in elementary school, they used to do like a Halloween parade. You know, like yeah, yeah, like all the Fucking kids recess. would walk around and in, in, in recess. I know I was Wolverine one year. That was dope. And then one year I was um, like an aviator, like a Top Gun. Like I had like a yeah. Top Gun jacket. Like the leather jacket? Yeah, yeah, that was cool. And I think those are the two I remember. I think Wolverine was probably my favorite one yeah. growing up. Yeah, yeah. I was Naruto like in like seventh or eighth grade too. Oh, wow. But you know what? Kids didn't really know what I was. I felt... Yeah. Why is he was... wearing an orange jumpsuit? <laughs> is he a janitor? Uh, oh, you're an inmate. Yeah. I remember that. And they were like, so what are you? <laughs> I was like, I'm a ninja. They are like, oh, ninjas ooh. don't wear orange. And I was like, that makes sense. I saw this sad post of this. Like, a little kid went to school fully customized as Iron Man. Or Tony Stark, actually, because he wasn't in, like, the Iron Man suit. He was, just, you know, slick bag with the shades on and mm-hmm. stuff. And he said that when he got to school, everyone made fun of him. So he just went to the bathroom and washed everything off. And just fuck makes them me kids. sad. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Kids are ruthless, man. Yeah, they're, they're just assholes. unnecessarily mean. I feel like there's 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 two sides to this coin. Well, were they saying like you're dead? There's two so there's two sides to this coin right now. Yes, kids. Y'all fucked up. Y'all chill. <laughs> y'all need to chill out. Some of y'all are just real mean. But at the same time, it's like, what happened to sticks and stones? Yeah, man. That's true. What happened to everyone's tough skin? I guess. And I, I mean, I get it. There are things that need to be brought and acknowledged and, you know, put out there. But damn. It's like, I don't know. We've talked about this before. Damn. You, you got to let kids be kids. But when yeah. kids are kids, kids are fucking mean to each other, man. Oh, that's just, that's the truth. Own your shit. You wanted to dress up like that? Dress up like that. That's right. Yeah. Call them. Make fun of them for whatever they're wake- wearing. Because w- it's probably not as cool as what you're wearing. I would probably say kids are a lot more confident these days, right? I mean, just with, like, all the options. Maybe that sounds bad saying, but, like, what is acceptable in social norms these days? Like, you can Dress up be whatever Rick you James. want and do whatever you want. And it's kind of in our culture now to be accepting of most of those things. You know yeah. what I mean? As we hope to. Yeah, you would. That's ideal, right? Yeah. But. It's, it's interesting. You want to be whatever yeah. happened to minding it, your own business? It's really interesting because like you can be like an outcast as a kid, but like at that, I feel like the zoom in on like bullying and stuff is so much stronger. Where maybe it doesn't happen. It still happens. I'm more than positive, but I think there's a much bigger awareness of like what kids are doing because of like mental health and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And I think just the kids are being who are doing the bullying just need to beat the shit out of them. You know, is that that's too far. That's no, that's how things would have that's gotten done when we were kids. Like, yeah, we'd fight it. We'd fight. <laughs> I wouldn't win, but yeah, don't hit at me, least please. I fight. <laughs> anyway, on, um, on the subject of Halloween costume, that was random. But there's this video of Jack Black. I think it's on either on GQ or something where he does like a whole timeline of like what the most popular costumes were mm-hmm. based on the decade. It's a really good watch. I don't know if we'll be able to like link it or something, but it's a cool watch. And it's yeah. Jack Black. Who doesn't love Jack Black? If you don't, you're lying. I like Jack Black. He's hilarious. And he's a gamer. Mm-hmm. And does, doesn't he stream a little bit? He does stream. Yeah. Did you hear him do the Bowser voice? Yeah. That was pretty sick. I actually saw the trailer for that recently, and I was like, why does this look so intense? <laughs> <laughs> With the, the fucking ice scene? They, like, throw the snowballs and shit? <laughs> I was like, that's hilarious. That's exactly what they do. Also, in the month of Halloween, October is... Uh, Filipino Heritage Month. So Woo! shout out to all the Filipinos. So you got who? Hey. Uh, you got Bruno Mars, Dave Bautista, Uncle Pilo. Joe uh, Coy. Joe Coy, of course. Right now. Uh, Sweetie. There's the guy. Her. The guy from The Good Place. He's Filipino, right? The Good Place. Who? I actually haven't watched. I just know he got like famous. Ned that from uh, Spooderman. Joe Coy. Joe Coy, yeah. So shout out to you guys. 
Sound of the Filipinos, brother, hey. sister. Me and Jared make one full Filipino. Hey. Hey. And Justin's Filipino by affiliation. That's right. By association. Girlfriend, full pil- Filipino for family. Sick. Brother, sister. I would say that she has a very Filipino last name, too. Redacted. Probably bleep that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Social security number is but seven. She is <laughs> very yeah. Her last name is Redacted. <laughs> her, I was just saying her her last name is very Redacted. Uh, redacted. Uh, <laughs> redacted. <laughs> Should I just like uh, snip out that you saying Redacted and then put that instead of the bleep? Put like a yeah, sure. <laughs> I like that. Can you say it again? Redacted. Cool. Um, but Justin, uh, October is not just Halloween, Filipino Heritage Month. Wait, hold on. Before we move on. Yeah, of course. Are we supposed to do anything? Like, what do we do to celebrate? I don't really know. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. got it. Because they say they, they talk about a lot of heritage stuff at work and stuff, but they haven't brought up Filipino Heritage and... Uh, it's kind of getting close well, to the wire. You're, you're, uh, <laughs> you're over halfway through. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. By the time this shows, it'll be over. Yeah, for real. <laughs> if you're watching this. You are absolutely yeah. right. I hope you enjoyed your Filipino Heritage Month. <laughs> yeah, but shout out to all the Filipinos out there. Half Filipino, full Filipino, part Filipino. Shout out to you guys. You know the food's good. You know the people are tight. And you know our, you know the... You know, we're hot. Anyway. So. Also, <laughs> in the month of October, it is physical therapy month, mm, too. So yeah. anybody who is a physical therapist or go to physical therapy, um, shout let out them to you. Know. So Stretch your legs. I just bought a Theragun recently. Does that count? Dang, yeah. you balling. A Theragun? Yeah, you, Yo, know where, you know what's chill. a good spot chill. to put it on? Dang. Put it on? You're not supposed to put it on genitals. It says it on the instructions, Justin. No, you put it on, on your butthole. No, oh, yeah. Like the thermometer. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard that? I don't, like, I don't like, like this. I don't want to like do that. Ther- I don't want to do that. With a Theragun or the thermometer? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to all the physical therapists that um, watch this. Happy Physical Therapy Month. Happy Physical Therapy Month. Yeah, stretch it out. It's good for you. I don't know if you can hear the audible crack, but I don't think anyone heard that. You can just sound bite it. I got you. <laughs> and make it a sound bite that's like way too many cracks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, we get it. You want to fight Naruto. Chill out. Chill. <laughs> just trying to get him. <laughs> Does it really say not to put on gentle dust? Yeah, I read the instructions. It's like the yeah. first thing. It's, it literally says in all capital letters, do not put on genitals. It's like, welcome to your new Theragun. Do not put these on your genitals. I want to say it's like one of the first <laughs> things in the instructions. Step one, plug in charger. <laughs> Step two, do not put it on your genitals. I want to see that. That's really funny. I, I think I have. I'll show it to you later. I got the little travel size one because I, you know, I dance for a living. So when I'm at dance competitions and stuff, it's it's good. Keeps you fresh. Keeps you loose. Mm-hmm. I love Theraguns. Yeah, they're great. I, I you let me borrow one for a while yeah. when I was uh, when I was injured. Mm-hmm. Injured. Injured. Yes. And let me tell you, Justin can work magic. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I'll say about that. Yeah, that's all you need. Let, um, your, let your mind wander on that one. He's good with his hands, if you know what I'm saying. And his toes. Whoa. Are you going to be wearing a costume at work this year? <laughs> they, they, You're going to be dressed up as Fat Thor? <laughs> they want us having to, people do but like I'm like, physical therapy I can't fat Thor. do it. I can't do my job in this. Like, <laughs> yeah, your gut I'm gets sorry. in the way. I'm wearing scrubs like I normally do, and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, just wear like uh, cat ears or something like that. Why don't you wear scrubs with the pillow under and the wig on and the shades? I am Fat Thor physical therapist. Yeah. I do a lot at my work. I like that you kind of said it with a lisp. Oh, that would piss. <laughs> that would piss. <laughs> New master. New master. I don't know. We'll see. I might wear the um, the Winter Soldier since it's like a um, it's the like shooter a th- sleeve, it's like a thermal shirt yeah. type deal. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's a bit more manageable. You, to so work. I might yeah. just wear it under mine, and then when we have to take a picture at work, I'll take it off. Be the yeah, then just be like, you know, kids, this is what happens when you don't stretch. Then you make like the metal sound. <laughs> that 
I don't think that's how what his arm sounds like. Mm, but. It will sound bite it and make one that sounds <laughs> way too intense. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a freaking transformer. <laughs> I don't think that's how it sounds anymore. That's a small transformer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your therapy. I'm not good with the sound bites today, guys. Hey, listen. <laughs> It's not about the size. It's not about the size. It's about the performance. You know yeah, what I mean? Not and it, wrong. And it gets the job done. Not wrong. <laughs> and they're satisfied. Okay? Not very. <laughs> Twice if I if that. Yeah. Touche. <clears throat> I believe it's pronounced touche. You know where you can put those lips? <laughs> <laughs> where? Where? <laughs> On this touche. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We got to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We got to go mess with this Theragun. <laughs> oh, we got some things to test out here. Oh, my God. The, where's this going? Uh, I don't know. What's next? Um, Wait. Um, are you going to wear anything to work for? We have like a Halloween party. Yeah. Um, I might be. You look great <laughs> dancing. <laughs> I oh, kind of want to wear this for all the Halloween stuff I have coming up. I'm going to be at an event this weekend where on like Thursday we're dressing up. So this is what I'm wearing for Thursday. So actually I'm trying it on fun. right now. It's, it's right. fun. It's um, the theme of the night is like um, famous recording artists and stuff like that. So I was Ooh. like, <laughs> I don't know why Rick James was the first one that came to mind. But I was like, that's who I'm going to be. There was almost no question in my mind. Yeah. Who else would you be? DMX? <laughs> what my dog's at? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh. oh. Yeah, I don't think I can dress up at work Ooh. just because, like, no one would know who works there because, like, we wear, like, a uniform at work. No, no, that makes sense. No name tags? Nope. Mm. Don't have the name tags anymore. Got earpiece? Got nope. Headset. Don't have earpieces anymore. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Yeah, I only have a logo on, on my work attire. Except for the redacted. What if you put yeah. the logo <laughs> on the costume? Except for the redacted logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love knowing that Al works at Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Jared, um, what are you wearing? I'm probably going to wear this. I bought this shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably be wearing this uh, for the next three Halloweens. Are you going to yeah, bring yeah. the sword? To, oh, no, I can't. No, just be careful. That's, that's no, I cannot, no, no, no. cannot bring that. I mean, I might. It's going to scare kids. I'll keep yeah. it on my car. <laughs> it, just in case. It's going to be on the side. Just in case I need to use it to uh, <laughs> stop any thieves from taking our merchandise. Bonk, hey. bonk, bonk. Get over here. Jidori. <laughs> <laughs> just in case he runs into anyone. And then you uh, just have a taser in your hand. <laughs> I'll bring that lantern. <laughs> Jidori. Oh, it's bright. Throw the lantern at the <laughs> <laughs> But on some sad news. Oh. You know, we always talk about fun times and hilarious moments, but uh, can we get a moment of silence for Hagrid, the actor that plays Hagrid passed away? Did you guys see at the, oh, well, I don't think you guys have been to the Harry Potter land or the ride, but I haven't, no. they put flowers at the Hagrid, at, like oh. the robot, like when you pass oh, it, there's man. like flowers. Like I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I, I want to get a Hagrid I saw tattoo. A thing, I think he did like an interview. It's like you know, Harry Potter was such a great um, experience or yeah. whatever, and you know everyone loves Hagrid, and they'll the next generation will watch it and things like that. And he's like, sadly, no, he's like Hagrid will always be there, but sadly, I won't. And I was like, that's oh sad. yeah, yeah I, I, I seen the one. I seen like, like the stills from that. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. Goodness, it's, a it's like how old was he? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, how, long, I don't know how old wizards live. All right, we're going to check live. right now. <laughs> how old the wizards live? Hagrid. Oh, wow. I actually put Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a hizzard, Harry. Whoa. Am I having a stroke? You're a lizard, Jerry. 72. That's a good life. Yeah. 72. He's, was he the same? Was he that big? No, nah, I don't think he was that big in he real was life. Was that a fucking giant? <laughs> well... How I like to he? believe he was. Let's just say he was. Yeah. He was larger than life. Good one. And also, rest in peace to Cartoon Network. Wait. I repeat it a whole What? Time. Yeah. Cartoon, Hold on. Cartoon Network officially shut its doors into making a 
brave dog, courageous, making three knuckleheads in a cul-de-sac looking for candy. Good shows. Making sure your sister doesn't get into your laboratory. So who gets to pick up those shows, you think? What's the brand? What's the company? Um, not Alhambra, because that's water. Because there's Hanna Hanna Barbara or something like that. Hanna Barbera. Yeah, is that the one with the monkey? But I think that's like, I don't know if that falls under the same umbrella because there was a few different maybe production companies that worked under the umbrella of okay. of Cartoon Network. Well, I, I don't think they were all Hanna Barbera though. Can you though. pass the juicer? He's he's, um, he's talking to you. It's it's up there. Is there? Yeah. So but, really, that's that's a thing. Yeah, it was released the other day. Damn. What was your favorite Cartoon <laughs> Network so cartoon? Much. Ed and Eddie. Ed and Eddie was really good. Solid one. Johnny Bravo. Ooh. Johnny Bravo was good. <laughs> Cow and Chicken was a little unhinged. Okay. Um. Dexter's Laboratory, Wait, by the that? way, isn't that that is Cartoon Network? Yeah, it's Cartoon Network. Okay, yeah, yeah. Man, Courage, Courage, the Cowardly Dog, Powerpuff Girls. Yep, Cartoon Network. Mojo, Jojo. Powerpuff Girls was fire, man. What else? That's also like where a lot of people got their first taste of anime, because yeah. after Cartoon Network, Toonami, Toonami, Rick and Morty. Was that Cartoon Network? That's Adult Swim, which is oh, it's, isn't that? It's it was the nighttime. Oh, so did Adult Swim also die? No, I don't think so, because oh. I think Adult Swim is its own thing, too. But I think um, Samurai Jack was really good. Yes. That was a good one. Here's the thing. Of, uh, do you know anything else in that? Oh, nice. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Thinking of, thinking of uh, catching that Naruto guy. <laughs> <laughs> An time. Almost took the shot without me. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, House, Foster's, Foster's House Tom. of Imaginary Friends. That was such a sad but funny show. I think Powerpuff Girls is probably my favorite. Especially when they bring their normal friend over and then she's asking like, where's the mommy? And then they're like, oh, there isn't one. that they I made them in a lab on as an accident. And she's like, oh, that's funny because I was an accident too. Or shout out to one of the original fuckboys, Johnny Bravo. Mm. And the Rowdy Rough Boys. Rowdy Rough Boys. Those were <laughs> those were some of my favorite episodes of, of Powerpuff Girls. The Rowdy Rough Boys. Uh, Johnny Bravo. I think it was... Everybody do the monkey with me. I think it was Buster, Every, Boomer... I don't remember. I don't remember the last one. And Kyler? No, they all had bees. God! Say the two again. Buster, Boomer... Bruiser? And I want to... Maybe Brian. Butch? Butch? Maybe Butch. I think so. I think it's Butch. Uh, but you, ooh, Kids Next Door. Fuck, you know that was the thing a good about, one. You know the thing about Johnny Bravo, though? Every episode was just where the hoes at. <laughs> <laughs> he was just was. on that it was just ongoing on quest. Ever-going mission just to find them biddies <laughs> somewhere. I think somehow. my favorite Johnny Bravo episode was when he's doing the driving test. <laughs> I don't remember hey, that. mama. I don't remember hey, that one. Hey, look, I can drive with my teeth. So it says another user... Oh, uh, no. Thank you for all these memories. Tom and Jerry, Scooby-Doo, Popeye, Power Puff Girls, Courage, Looney Tunes, and many more. Rowdy Rough Boys, by the way, were Brick, Boomer, and Butch. Brick. Brick. Um, yeah, those were good episodes. Um, what was the other one that I saw? Can you pull up that picture again? There was another one that I saw that I was like, ooh, that was a good one. Do we said kid, Kids Next Door? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not on that picture. Totally Spies, yo. Do you guys watch that? Totally Spies. To- totally Spies, I think, is where I developed my first like cartoon crush. Totally Spies. Totally spies. You guys don't remember that one? Mm-hmm. Maybe if I see it was the picture. three girls. Yeah, but it was like cartoon version. Totally Spies. Okay, yeah. I kinda, oh, like I kinda, in the I intro, kinda, they're like in a remember. diner or whatever. They get called. They go through like the bathroom. Yeah, Totally Spies was fucking dope. Oh, it's on Amazon Prime. Oh, maybe maybe Amazon oh, will take them. Right oh, <laughs> uh, maybe Disney. It'll be on Disney Plus. Because Paramount has all the Nickelodeon stuff, right? I don't know if you're looking at me or looking at the pumpkin. I'm looking at you. I don't know. Paramount Plus, right? 
Yeah. Um, man, Cartoon Network. That's that's yeah. a throwback right there. Yeah, man. rest in peace. Rest in uh, peace. All right, you're the homie. Pour some milk. Oh, you want another shot? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said pour some out, not pour some up. Ooh, Code Lyoko. You guys remember watching Ooh. that? Code Lyoko was good. Code Lyoko was dope. That was the f- that was like the first Sword Art Online. Is it reboot? Huh? Anyone remember? Was it? Is it called reboot? Are you talking about? Code Lyoko. Code no, Lyoko. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of something else. It's like 3D animated. He, Ooh, was, yeah, was yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He was like blue or green. And then there was like a time skip because he got lost in the data world or whatever and came back. Yeah, yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I know what you're talking about. He was like top shit that. when he came back. Reboot. I think it is it reboot. I don't know. Uh, this doesn't look like it was a no, 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 no. And it's crazy because I feel like anytime we talk about, or at least I've talked about like Cartoon Network shows, I always bring this up and I always forget the name like every time. <laughs> <laughs> or um, every single time. Do you guys remember watching Freakazoid? Freakazoid, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ben 10. Ben 10 was on Cartoon Network? Was he on Cartoon Network? Mm, just got weirder and weirder. Where he gets all this alien DNA? Oh, Freakazoid wasn't on Cartoon Network. It was on WB. Oh, Zoids. Zoids was on Cartoon Network or Toonami. Zoids was dope. Zoids is underrated. Zoids dope. Yeah. yeah. Toonami had good anime hits. Remember Zatch Bell? The Momotos? They were the puppets. And then they... The the, you guys didn't watch Zatch Bell, mm. yo. Anyways, okay, so the tell me more. So the the main guy, he was like, they were basically like the main people, and they they get these magic books that have spells, and with the books come like a, a puppet, basically. They're called Momotos, and they were basically like Pokemon, where like you would use your Momoto to fight another person's Momoto, and you can only use the spells that ha- that show up in your book. And the stronger yeah. your Momoto gets, the more spells yeah, yeah. you get in your book. So it's like there Pokemon. Was fight, there was a fighting game for that eventually. Yeah, the fighting game was yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like Pokemon meets Black Clover? Kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Because I remember there was that one kid. It was the blonde bowl cut kid that, was that was did the, the, that's that's the lightning. That's Zatch. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a card game for it, too. I remember that. I kind of remember that one. I'm with that. I'll look that up. Hmm. hmm. Lots of good, yeah. lots of good ones on there. Lots those, are good, those are good shows. Lots How of about, lots um, of good ones, um, being put in the vault and putting on the shelf. So, yep. shout out to Cartoon Network. If you have a favorite show, put it in the comments. Damn, I'm gonna see if I can find Zatch Bell somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one of the last topics before we go on the big topic. <clears throat> um, do you guys like watching horror movies? Uh, I'm not a fan of horror movies. I don't think there's anything really scary anymore. I think it's tough to make an. <laughs> you just desensitized. Horror. I think it's tough to make an actual horror movie. I can be like really like freaked out about it. And maybe maybe just because I'm older now. I don't know, but I don't know. I feel like I can. I could probably sit in the dark and watch whatever fucking <laughs> whatever horror movies out right now. I'll probably do it. I'm sure I'll have a nightmare or two or whatever. Sure, whatever. No, I don't want that. Uh, Crystal will always be wanting want to watch like a horror movie like right before we sleep. I'm like, absolutely not. I'm going to be watching Rain Sounds. I can't. I can't do the horror movies. I think movies. there was a time I was watching something scary, and this was super recent. And I would close my eyes, and all I would see is like this scary ass face, like just as my eyes are closed the whole time. So I had to open. <laughs> but then you know I go. But then no I matter go, what, so, I'm trapped. I think there's a difference then though knock out. between like like horror movies like for me it's like i don't like jump scares like things that just pop out and scare the shit out of you i hate that i can't stand that Mm -hmm. but if it's just like if it's like gore and like murder that's not so bad for me does that make sense you just don't like being startled i don't like being startled yeah yeah that's for sure (laughs) (laughs) you ever watch those, (laughs) uh, those videos where it's like you follow the car and it goes around a bush, and then something just pops out. The, the zombie screen. thing comes out of nowhere, right? Oh, I fucking hate that. Or the yeah, maze game. That, where that'll like, get Oh, me. you get closer and closer, then you look closer and closer. It makes you start reading. Yeah, you're like, what is that? And it's just fucking loud as shit. It's the, it was the picture of the exorcist girl that just comes out, and then just a loud scream. Oh, when we had the old computers. <laughs> yeah. E-bombs world and shit like that. You know what I mean? So if you were to, what would be your, f- well, it's not really a favorite, but what's the one movie you do? You never want to watch because it's terrifying. Oh, for me, I can watch anything. It's, I think it's more for me. If it was to like get to me, it's more 
real and like what can happen. Um, like this movie didn't scare me or anything, but it was like, shit, if this could happen, this could happen like any day if you were out. It was the one um, on Netflix called Hush. Did you watch that? I don't think so. It's the guy with the boat? No. So it's a deaf lady. She, I forgot what she was. Like She was a writer or something like that. But I forgot why the guy um, went to go, like, go. But she, her house was, like, hella glass. And this guy was just trying to attack her, kill her for some reason. I forgot exactly why, but she can't hear. So he's knocking on the windows and like he gets in and like all this stuff. And you're like, he's fucking behind you. Like literally just like standing right behind her and like shit like that. It was just like, it kept you on the edge. Cause you're like, Oh my God. And then you keep remembering like, she can't hear. It's like watching Daredevil. You're like, damn, that's just crazy. Then you're like, oh, fuck, he's supposed to be blind. How is he supposed to do that? So it was like kind of one of those where you're like on the edge. Like, ah, I wasn't going to have it. Ah. So you like, you like suspense. That's what you like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like the feeling of like tension yeah. and like it building up, right? That I can do. That's not too bad. I think the one movie that I, because I don't, I don't, it's never my choice to watch a horror movie. But the one that I can watch that I, I don't even think it counts as horror is Thirteen Ghosts. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, that was a good. It's movie. just a good movie, right? It's one when they're in the house, right? Yeah, it's the one where they're in like a glass house or something, mm-hmm. and it's like haunted by Thirteen well, Ghosts. There's, well, there's Thirteen, <laughs> 13 Rooms. There's also oh, a movie called Glass House that's also a horror movie. Yeah. So Thirteen Ghosts, the guy is a ghost hunter, and he kept all the ghosts that he collected inside of the house See, why in do you these collect that? boxes. And the boxes were covered with these spells so they couldn't leave. So I think I'm if, discovering why I like this movie. It just sounds like an anime. If you don't <laughs> if you don't have these specific glasses, for the people who haven't seen the movie, if you don't have the glasses, you, you can't, can't see, see the ghosts inside yeah, yeah. the box. So it would just be a empty box. So then the boxes end up opening and the ghosts get out. And it's very like suspenseful because yeah. if you don't have the glasses on, you can't you just, see the ghost see them in front of you, up. and then you die. Yeah, so. Shaggy got fucked up in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Shaggy movie. was in the really movie. good movie. Matthew Lillard, yeah, good actor. I think uh, ahead of his time for acting. Yeah, but. for sure. I think the movies that I know that I don't care to watch are any of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Yeah, see, can't fuck with that. Very good. Me and Jared lived very close in Elm Street. Our cousins lived there. No, fuck that. Very good. Yeah, no. What about you, Jared? Um, so I guess. Yeah. Freddy Krueger was scary at the time. The Ring was scary at the time. Signs is definitely a good one that gets me. Blair Witch. Blair Witch at the time, just because we, we were on the East Coast. But, I mean, I feel like nowadays it's, it's really tough. To kind of like get get spooked out like that, when it's like jump scares, like you were saying, yeah, sure. Of I don't, I mean, I don't if you're know not like expecting that. it, and yeah. something like pops up on the fucking screen and it's mm-hmm. loud as shit. Like, yeah, you should. I hope yeah. you jump or I whatever. Mean, but that's like weak scare to me, though. It's like you're in a movie and it's just fucking hella loud. Bust your eardrums, they pop out. You're like, no fucking shit, I'm gonna move. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's just start. Just like Justin actually in the movie. scare me in the movie. But I think the some of the other good ones were the Insidious ones. Oh, yeah. I didn't like those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those because were, those they, were they, they had good. jump scares in it, and I yeah, wasn't fucking there, with that. Yeah, there wasn't too many, but like the storyline was pretty decent for scary movies. They made like three or four least. of them, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's the one on Netflix. It's kind of kind of um, recent. Oh, it's the Mansion. It was like, fuck. Haunting on Hill House. Yeah, that That's was a, a series, one. though, right? That it one was, was good. We watched it back. At, Are you leaving? That one was good. Bye. Bye. I it. it was so good until the last episode. And then the last episode, you're like, this show just took a 180 degree turn. Yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah, so yeah. scary to all of a sudden, so happy, lovey. And, like, I, and I like bitch. the spots where, like, you know, it's, it's it a, so good. It's like a normal scene, but in, like, the back corner, there's, like, a ghost, like, chilling. Like, yeah. those, those are, like, um, the movies where you I have get, to like, watch them. I get, like, them. chills for that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, you have to watch, like, what's where happening. You, where you have to watch it multiple times in order to see yeah. where. I think that's what it was on, the Haunting in the Hill House, right? Like, if you go back. Yeah, the broke neck girl. You, 
Well, yeah, and you see like in like mirrors or um, windows, you'll see the actual ghosts from the house in it. Yeah, if you ever you have know to watch that, rewatch you know it. Scary, you know what's scary too? Um, like those movies that have um, like unfortunate things happen that like they're in the movie or conspiracy things that are also in the movie. So like for example, um, the Wizard of Oz with Wizard the of Oz with the the people that like killed themselves. On yeah, they're the hanging set, in the back. Know? Or what was the movie? It was like three guys and like a kid, and like they had a kid or something like that. I f- I f- Fuck, I forget what it was called. Two and a half men. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it was it was like three it was like three of them. I don't know. But in in one of the scenes, like supposedly you can see like a like a ghost figure in like the window or something. That's terrifying. (laughs) And the movie is not supposed to be the movie's not supposed to be a scary movie at all, but like it was like seen in there. I'll I'll look it up. That's scary. Maybe I'll have the name for it. It's a it's the attention to detail and stuff like that that's that true. i yeah, yeah. that i appreciate like that's true you're yeah, just yeah. not making us look at one thing you're making us have to look at everything it's like playing mm-hmm. the last of us right you, you can just continue on with the story but you have to search every single room in order to find one fucking bullet but that one bullet is it's very the difference maker exactly yeah. so that's kind of like how like i appreciate a movie like that too so i i think i can appreciate the the art form it's just not my preference fair enough and i get it's a it's definitely a large cult following to like be into horror movies there used to be um like a magazine purely based on horror i forget what it was called they used to sell on hot topic back in the day let me see what they still do yeah me and keani back in the early part of the relationship we would just pick bad horror movies and just watch them and just see how bad horror movies were <laughs> it was pretty fun <laughs> just i think we watched like almost all of them on netflix at one time because mm-hmm. <laughs> netflix never updates anything oh i know one that i would never watch chucky i remember oh, yeah. i remember being terrified of that as a kid and like when we would go to the mall and you would go to spencer's I know and I'm the- dressing up next year oh don't you fucking dare <laughs> It's just the adult version. It's Charles. But no, it's Charles. <laughs> but I remember because you would go into Spencer's Charles. in like the That's early two thousands, and they would have like the Chucky dolls like on display, mm-hmm. and I that just no, I don't fuck with that. Yeah, I don't like anything with dolls. But he attacks yeah. you. He's a killer. How does he kill everybody? Is he really that strong? With a knife. He's fast. But it's like, can't you just? Kick this little motherfucker. No, but he, but this, he doesn't die. He has the strength of a, a full, full grown man because he has like a, the, the, the soul spirit, of like a yeah. murderer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't kick him. You can't. Yeah, I think you, can't, you can. You can't punt him. I think you can, but then he has like a butcher knife in his hand. All right, well, at least it's just my leg. My leg. <laughs> my, my leg. leg. But How would, many times we got to tell you, old man? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like nowadays I would Dutch. be punting this motherfucker all across the road. Fuck you, Chucky. And your bride. <laughs> and your bride. And your bride. Especially like when Ooh. they threw him in the, um, the fucking garbage disposal thing and then they stitch him back together. I was like, why would you do this? The leprechaun. Oh, fuck that. The leprechaun, I think, had me going for a, a little bit. I was I was kind of scared about that for a while. But then he went to space and I was like, what the fuck is going on? It's like Fast and Furious. Like, what <laughs> is going on now? Why? Oh, it? Yeah, yeah I don't, it, I don't, it, I don't it like it. Out. it I actually I'm scared of clowns not, forever because I have it. not seen the newest one, but it's pretty good. So I think I remember watching it as a kid and I fucking hated it. And the scene that I remember in my head is like it's like in the dark, like it's like just like a black screen with like like the light over, like someone holding a balloon. And when the balloon popped, like blood just like fell out. And I don't yeah. know why that freaked me out so much, but I remember that and I didn't like it. Like the physics doesn't make sense. It's scary. <laughs> but it wouldn't be Halloween without. Talking about candy, though. Yeah, more candy. Yeah. Candy, candy, candy. <laughs> so if we were going to do a starting five draft mm. of candy. Mm. Any candy. Mm-hmm. Chocolate, sour, sweet, okay. sugar. Yeah, it's Jared's favorite cereal. Sugar. So who wants to start? Starting five. I, I thought we're I, are we I drafting? Started, are we going one at a time? Yeah, one at a time. I started last time, so we can either start with you or Al. Rick James goes first. All right. Oh man, I wasn't prepared. For Halloween this. candies. 
Like um, s- stuff you want, that you get in do Halloween. Do you want to say specifically Halloween yeah. candy? Like candy yeah. that you get on Halloween, I don't know. right? I don't know. I think my just, first pick. Just candy. I don't know if I get to double it or dual purpose it, but it would either be uh, Tootsie Rolls or Tootsie Pops. So you're going Halloween candy. I'm going to go, for my draft, I'm going to go like candy you would get on Halloween. Okay, we'll, we'll oh, stick to that. Oh, fuck no. I'm you switching can... it. And you guys could take Tootsie Roll, it's fine. But I don't even know the name of this candy, but it's the ones that are wrapped in like the strawberry wrap. Oh, fuck. And you it get, has the. You get those for Halloween? Yeah. You get like one of those. You get like one of them, and that is fucking gold right there. Those are the. I don't know what it's called, but. It's strawberry sherbet inside. And it's like, it's a hard candy on the outside, and then you, and if you bite into it, it's like a little chewy on the inside. Mm-hmm. That shit is fire. That's my, that's my number one pick. I don't know what it's called. Please let me know what it's called. Strawberry sherbet. I think we. I thought we looked it up last time. I thought it was just strawberry candy. Yeah, it's called strawberry sherbet. Strawberry, yeah. Because they, num- they also make a lemon sherbet. That's my number one pick. A little upset that you switched it up, but I'm a little upset too, not but really because I'm I am taking you t- taking tizzy rolls. Nah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm taking tizzy rolls. I will I take, take Reese's peanut butter cups. Solid Classic. Choice. Solid you choice. can't go wrong, honestly. Solid choice. It's never enough because it's the, it's not even a regular size. It's a small cup. I am going to go with Snickers. Okay. And then we sn- are we snaking back like yeah, we did last time? Yeah, go to Jay's then it goes back this way. No, no, so it would be me. Yeah, so cool. you had one. Oh, so you get a double so, pick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Snickers. So Snickers. Yeah, I need to keep track of them. <laughs> okay, I'll do the same. Um, second pick. Hmm. Reese's peanut butter cup was a good choice. That's a good yeah, fucking, fucking choice. Fucking good man. choice. Um, I'm like really trying to think of all the candy. Like, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Twix. Ooh, left or right? Um, right. Good, good solid okay. choice. I'm gonna go the cookies and cream Hershey's chocolate. Oh, solid choice. Solid choice. That's good. That's good. So upset. Um, <laughs> he's still just the regular Hershey's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so disappointed with that choice. God. Not the not any of the varieties. Regular Cheerios. Um, <laughs> no, no fucking sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go Whoppers. Ooh. That's a good one. So, so I'm gonna go with choice. Whoppers. Solid choice. Yeah. And it's a good movie candy. Mm-hmm. You go two times. Oh shit! I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> um, fuck. Um. <laughs> oh, you got you're looking at it. I'm uh, yeah, going off I, the top. Of I my can't head. remember, man. I don't eat a lot of candy anymore. Um, fucking. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk duds. Okay. That's a good one, too. Maybe not everyone's favorite, but yeah. one of mine. And Jared? Airheads? That is one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Airheads is a good fucking solid choice. Airheads? Airheads? I'm going to go with Sour Patch Kids. That's a good one. Do you get that on Halloween? Yeah, yeah. they am. make the small yes, It just shows me how yes, much you. I buy Halloween candy now. You absolutely Comes do. with five pieces. A little upsetting. So now I have two choices, right? Yep. Um, do um, sour straws? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Like the good. single ones with the cat yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Just sour straws. Sour straws are good. Okay. Um, Your final pick. Uh no. Oh no, it's your fourth pick. Sorry. Yeah, this is my fourth pick. Um. <laughs> Damn. Um. The only thing that I can go through that's going through my head right now. I, no, is, it's all good. Is um, the Crunch Bar. Crunch. Oh, classic. Classic. The only thing I can think of right now. That's a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with a crowd favorite, Kit Kats. 
Mm, Did no one pick Kit Kats? Nope. Damn. Really? I knew I was forgetting something. Shit. Um, nerds. Damn, that was going to be my next pick. <laughs> Stressed out now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, Do you guys like Nerds Rope? Do you still make that? Nerds the, Rope is good, too. Nerds Rope but is I'll, good. I don't know I'll, if you ever I'll, got I'll that on the regular, Halloween, though. I like the regular Nerds. Um, it's in the box. I think yeah. I'm going to go with... Um, it's the most novel all in one shot. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Skittles. Mm. You, know, you get like the mini packs, right? Always ends up being more lemon. And that's the worst. I think you get... This is your last pick now. Is this my last one? Shit. Choose wisely. Um, Ecstasy. <laughs> That's why they say check your candy. That's why they say check your candy and give it to me. Um, <laughs> uh, um, you just floored on the grass. <laughs> wow. Great Halloween. Um, shit. My last pick is yeah. probably going to be just the Hershey Kisses, man. Just a regular one? Just regular Hershey Kisses. You know, they had different flavored ones, too. The zebra one's my favorite. Yeah, but I, I would just kind of do, you guys a, I'll do a broad just Hershey Kisses. Have you guys... Uh, White chocolate ones, really, if I wanted to be hugs, specific. The hugs and kisses on Valentine's Day? The red and the red and white one? I like those, too. I think they're red and white. Hershey Kisses, yeah. That'll really be my last pick. Fun fact about Hershey Kisses, they had a... They're uh, not really kisses. Oh. They look like little oh. poops. Yeah. yeah, they actually had a rebranding that was a total catastrophe. So I think like in 2014 like or 15, they did a rebranding and the logo looked like the poop emoji. Yeah, that probably didn't last long, huh? Yeah, it was, it was a total train, wor- train wreck. You know, it's what happens when Who you try. Who thought and, of that? That's a terrible. Are they still marketing. there? <laughs> Do well, they still work the for people that? that they hired Problem instead of. The guy who was like. You got it. It was so the people <laughs> that they hired on it. That's the guy who weren't hire. even from true. like a design firm. It was like someone that worked in the office. Well, back I did to the a office. He goes, research on this. Like, hey guys, I got an idea. Hey, how about we just <laughs> just drop it like it's hot, like it's he a poop is off the drawing board. Um, Literally. Final pick: Butterfinger. Ooh. Mm. Butterfingers. Oh, yeah. I like the Simpson commercials of the Butterfingers. It's usually Bart, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with uh, 100 grand. Okay. I can't one. say that's <laughs> one that I like. <laughs> when I first made 100 grand. It's it's just like a crunch bar with a caramel tell me center. Shit. That is a good one. That is a good one. When I first made 100 grand. Couldn't tell me nothing. My last pick... This is the last pick of the whole thing, right? Yeah, you yeah. have the last pick. Last pick. I hope nobody has taken this because I don't remember. Starburst. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Individually wrapped yeah, Starburst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or sometimes they no, came in like the packs pack, of like, yeah, the two packs pack. of two or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Good that's, one, guys. That's Listen. Some, uh, honorable mentions here. Oh, you have uh, honorable mentions? We forgot about. Uh, Skittles. I picked Skittles. Picks, oh, did you? Yeah, Smarties. Good thing I didn't say that. Smarties, Smarties was going to be on my list too. Smarties is there. Yeah. Um, Warheads. Have, where is it? Where is it? Warheads were good. Warheads definitely, were good. definitely. Nestle Crunch. There was three muskets. Someone, uh, Justin, Justin, Justin picked Justin crunch. Pick the crunch. Yeah. Oh, he's Just a crunch. Pick, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, oh, yeah the variety pack of the Hershey. Uh, Twizzler. Um, so do you guys know what as uh, Babe Ruth or Baby Ruth? Yeah, Baby Ruth. Those the the peanut one. You know it's Baby Ruth, right? What did I say? Babe Ruth. Ooh, lollipop. See, no, oh, like, a candy bar, right? Baby Ruth? Yeah. 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 Well, Tootsie Pop. Because I, I always thought it was called Babe Ruth. Well, he, oh, no. Based I, on I think Tootsie Rolls will probably the, fall um, under Tootsie Pop. You know what we fucking forgot? <laughs> just two conversations <laughs> happening. Candy corn. Listen, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. If your favorite Halloween candy, I feel strongly about this, is candy corn or fucking you black better. licorice. All right. Candy I don't corn know is Johnny's favorite. Candy so corn wrong. is good She's in wrong. small bites. <laughs> you gotta tell her that. I'm I not, will. I ain't telling her. I ain't saying nothing. I will. <laughs> candy corn is good in small bites. No, not the whole thing at once. Sweet time. tarts, fun dip, fun, fun dip, dip. Yeah. bottle caps, bottle, bottle caps, caps pop rocks, candy cigarettes, pop rocks, <laughs> candy <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> they don't make that anymore. I know that is a controversial candy for sure. Tootsie pop. 
It's probably where my smoking addiction started. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Life, lifesavers. Lifesavers. Gummy lifesavers. Ooh. Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. As long as it's not the banana one. The Laffy Taffy. Hey. You know, if you like banana Laffy Taffy, unpopular opinion, I but I you. like the banana flavor. No, unpopular bu- opinion. You know, I didn't mind it, but I wouldn't pick it out of the batch. You know, what I mean, if it was like the last one there. Like, All right, cool, got it. <laughs> 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 right, <fine>. It's <laughs> got to go somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. I ate all the other candy. I might as well eat this one too. <laughs> yeah. You, so, did you for like when you went trick or treating, right? Were you allowed to eat all your candy at one time? Did we talk about this? Earlier? I ate it on the way home. So I'd be like, oh, I only got like five candies. Anyone ever get limited? Do you ever get limited? Did your parents ever check your candy? No. <laughs> did mom and dad check our candy? I think it was one, one or uh, it was a couple times where we did, yeah. I don't think that my parents did. They just made sure I didn't eat it all. But then the one night, I was walking. I was like, you know what? This is a big brain move. I'm going to eat it on the way home. <laughs> I remember when we went trick or cheating as kids when we would go with our cousins. Like, we would all come back to the house and, like, everyone would empty out their bag and be like, all right, who wants what? Who wants to trade? That was fun. I remember that being a good time. I always remembered, like, going with my friends to the rich neighborhoods because they gave out king size candy. Sunny which side, I'm just baby. like, why would you buy. We're going up to sunny side if we are trick or treating. <laughs> why would you buy king size candy? I get it, but, like, you ball him. I'm just like. Listen, that's a flex. You're like, you want to come to my house? You want to get some candy? Take a king size fucking Hershey bar. Yeah. What's the worst thing you've ever received? An apple. Okay, that's good. That's I've good. gotten some apples before I've... for sure. What? I I didn't like when people gave um the like snack size bags of chips. Yeah, that was um like they put it in a Ziploc bag. No, like you know, like, like oh, the, the variety pack. The variety packs. That's it's not candy. Like <laughs> it's just not candy. One lady down my street, uh, she would give out cans of soda. Ooh. I was like, it's probably pretty smart because, like, you're walking, you're getting parched. <laughs> nice. More and sugar? then you got the healthy person across the street giving out balls of water. Did you like the um, the houses that just put the bowl out with the sign? Please take one. That please is. Take one. Please I'll just take, take one. I think, I think that's when you learned as a kid if you were a fucking kleptomaniac or not. Because <laughs> <laughs> you took the bowl. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm not proud to admit it. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Looks like you got some Snickers, some Baby Ruths, a punch bowl. Where would you yeah. get this from? Yeah, mom. They also get. They also had a lawn gnome. He was like, "Do you want the bowl?" I was like, "Sure." I'll tell you another one of the ones that I didn't like. Uh, I was not a fan of getting Junior Mints. Yeah, That's I the... mean, I don't really like mint candies. It's a soft one, right? Um, it's, you don't know because you didn't eat them. Sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. It fucking sucks. Yeah, I don't like know. Chocolate covered toothpaste, right? Yeah, basic, basically, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind stuff like that. I, I, I just didn't. I wasn't fucking with that. Yeah, because you want, you want the chocolate shit, not the chocolate breath stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just didn't fuck with Junior Mints. I don't know, man. That's What's the worst me. candy? <laughs> candy corn or black licorice. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'm on. I'm on the same page with black licorice. I think it's a it's an acquired taste that I'm not gonna acquire. <laughs> Justin, do you like black licorice? And do you like J- Jaeger all so much? No, oh, that's drink a good Jaeger question. bombs all day, but no black licorice. Mm-hmm. Don't. No stomach getting upset by thinking about it's it. It's different, like <laughs> taking a shot and it being like cold versus like chewing on a rope of it. So you don't like Twizzlers either. I like Twizzlers. I don't really like Twizzlers that much. Well, I like Twizzlers. I think Twizzlers is too waxy. I'd rather get a red wine. I I, I just because it's licorice too, right? I just don't think I like licorice. No, Twizzlers, the it's shiny. Mm. I guess it has, I guess it is the red vines that I like then because it comes in the bigger bucket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you get the little box and it'll yeah. stick together. So technically, it's one. I think those are the worst. Red vines? No, the uh, black licorice and candy corn. <laughs> we're, still, we're still on that. I just wanted to let my message across. <laughs> For everybody to be clear, Jace does not like candy corn, candy corn no. or black licorice. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. So be no, 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 sure no, no. to give him that when he comes to your house. If you see Rick James, get the... And also be dressed as Chucky. 
He doesn't ring the doorbell so. and say trick or treat. He's just, I'm Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. Rick James, I'm Rick James, I'm Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. I think they just, I, they I just think get on, Rick, they just Rick, get Rick, on the, Rick, the ring Rick camera. James, Can you stop fucking ringing our camera? I'm Ring James, bitch. <laughs> Is anyone... Um, has anyone been part of that trick or treating scene recently? Like, is it the same? Do you feel I like I think it's I'm the too same? old to be trick or treating? Don't be an adult and go trick or treating, guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> unless you're with your kid. Unless you're no, with your kid. Like, with your kid. I mean, like you know, like maybe taking like your nephew. I see what you mean. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, I have no, not. I have not done that. And like, I just feel like just naturally, maybe this area is different. I don't know. I feel like back then, like everyone was out, like. All the families and their kids were walking the streets, getting candy. And I think stuff. And I also, like now it's I think like also the East like Coast is more like community driven, mm. where like mm. here everyone's like out for themselves. Well, no, I think because in New Jersey everything was closer together, right? So out here in California, you got to drive to a neighborhood, right, to get like good trick or treating. Like in our town, you could walk the whole town really the whole night and get some candy, depending on what time you start. Yeah. Like everything was like all the houses are just the, all the neighborhoods are just much closer together. Now, yeah. are there certain neighborhoods you didn't want to go to? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. I mean, I guess I have to think about like COVID times and two, but I don't know. I just feel like the vibe is different. Like, Absolutely. There's not as yeah. many. Well, because yeah, kids out there doing that shit. How many hands does this candy ch- change? You know, so gotta think- soak it in Purell. Hopefully none of the bags are open. And you know, when they were talking about when people were giving out drugs for Halloween, like how much money do you have to just be handing out tabs to people? And how come I none? Yeah, why are you giving it to the kids? Oh. Yeah. Never mind. I'm sorry, Jared? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> how come I ain't getting none? <laughs> Redacted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another thought I was thinking about. Do you give candy out yourself? Yeah. Are you going to give candy out, like, this year? Like, because we're still in, like, COVID times, right? Uh, That's a hell of sneezing. Do you just give out, like, candy to kids? Actually, no. In the past couple years, like, even during, like, when we lived at Borgia, I don't think we had one trick-or-treater. See, that's what I'm saying. That's true. Yeah. There wasn't, there's not much action. We don't get very much. See? See? Something's up in the world. The kids need to go out. And touch grass. Touch grass. (laughs) Please. (laughs) Please touch grass. Get off the social media. Touching some ass. So get out there and touch the grass. Just be like Johnny Bravo. Touch some grass, get some ass. Wait, maybe not for the kids. That's maybe too early. No, touch grass leads to getting ass. Oh. Because girls dig gardeners. That's right. Because they know how to trim. Sponsored by the Lawnmower (laughs) 3.0. Okay, nope, they're so, all the 4.0. so I have like, a I, I green thumb in the butt. <laughs> green thumb in the butt. <laughs> thumb in the butt. If you could, um, if you could get like the highest budget costume available of whatever you wanted, what would it be? I want to be the the robot that the girl uses in Alien. Oh, that was intense. That was intense. Said the highest budget, right? Yeah, like if you like money was not an issue, like you could get the like highest quality costume of whatever you want it to be. I'd get like a fucking legit Spider Man costume. Or Venom, and then they have like the like tubes that would like run across and it's like high. So, like it's moving and stuff. Yeah. Huh. What would be I would probably go Doctor Doom. That would be sick. I really like the mask for Doom. Yeah, it's pretty iconic. I mean, I guess if I had like the money, I'd uh, get a Thanos, like an Iron Man suit. I'd get a Thanos just so I can get a real gauntlet. Yeah, yeah. I would just have like a like a No Way Home or like the Spider Man Homecoming, like legit Spider Man jumpsuit it would be sick. But I just really love Spider Man, so. Which Do you? Spider-Man, though? Uh, the Spider-Man Homecoming. One of Tom Holland's suits. Really, you want to get the Tobey Maguire one? <clears throat> the, was it the Sam Raimi? The one no, the, the, they're all... The wiry ones? They're all good suits. I think I just really like the Tom Holland Spider-Man in general. It's very modern. I think he just did it. I think he did it best. Now, maybe it's an unpopular opinion, but that's me. Or if you're able to get the animated Miles Morales one. Like if it looked like animated yeah. on me, that would be sick. It's nothing but LED panels. 
that would be cool. Yeah, that's, that'd be fucking nuts. I think one of the the costumes I wanted to be was just the stick figure. Oh, the one with like the light. Yeah, like your all yeah. black suit and it's fucking LED. Yeah, <laughs> it looks so simple. It's so simple, but it 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 does it does a good job. Yeah, but it just has to be like dark. Yeah, doesn't work at a house party. <laughs> I like how everyone had a quick answer on that. Like, apparently, people have thought about this. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to talk about for this Halloween episode? Uh, I know Jace got the pack. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be up all night anyways. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> party all the time. That's party. kind of like my ritual before I go anywhere is that like I'll stay up the night before and pack because I'm more focused on all the stuff that I need to bring mm-hmm. because I'm like stressed. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want a shot? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> when was the last time? Um, when was the last episode? The, the season finale? Yeah, how long has it been? It's three weeks. Three weeks? Three, three weeks. God, it feels like it's been longer than that. Yeah. Well, hmm. thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on this Halloween episode. Season two coming 11 7. Oh, Beyond get ready. Get yeah, yeah. ready. Get ready. Again, I want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on this Halloween special. If you're out there on Halloween tonight, be safe. Have fun. Share your drugs. Redacted. (laughs) (laughs) Share your redacted. All right. We'll catch you guys in season two. Peace. Good night, everyone. Peace. Happy Halloween.